all units. Suspect seen heading south. Block all major roads and capture the suspect. So first I'm gonna demonstrate how this effect looks in game. I show in the playthrough of City Escape from Sonic Adventure 2. Now, hopefully you'll be able to see the effect, but it's not that strong in this game, but it's still totally there. Afterwards I'll show you more more easy to see side by side examples. Here we go. At the end of the level, you'll be able to see a fairly clear example of the occlusions due to a mild glitch. O other games suffer worse. When I hit the goal ring, the screen will fade white briefly, but it, this, this fade to white doesn't affect the occlusion, so you'll see the shading quite nicely. And then I'll show you side-by-side -side comparisons. Was cool. So now what you're gonna see is side by sides. First, we have an example with no effect. This has some mild occlusions. This has it much stronger. And this includes some heavier and neostropic filtering. Now here's how we do it. You need to get this program called NV Inspector. And in it, there's this button off to the side here. This will open up a window showing your settings for each game. These can be many of these settings can be edited within Nvidia's own control panel thing and you should you should get yourself familiar with that first. But these allow you to set some other settings that aren't user accessible, I guess you could say. Now first you're going to want to use that thing to add in Sonic Adventure 2 because it's not naturally there. Now here is the important thing. The ambient occlusion compatibility. You basically need to have your NVIDIA drivers pretend that one game is another game as far as ambient occlusion is concerned. The one for Arma seems to work with a lot, but it re it's, really, it's really individual for each game. Different games work with different ones. Some work better than others. Many don't work at all. Some cause the games to glitch terribly. But Arma 3 seems to work a lot. The World at War 1 seems to work a lot. I've also turned on anisotropic filtering in various levels of, <coughs> um, whatchamacallit, anti-aliasing for this game. And then down at the bottom, of course, you're going to need to want to turn, you're going to need to want to turn ambient occlusion on. But that's it. There we go.